So I think the problem with any of these things is who are the people you're talking about, who you're addressing? I mean, the average, the average consumer doesn't care. I mean, the average consumer wants um, easy, affordable access to services, be they digital or otherwise. And some of the conversations you hear in some, in some areas like IGF and elsewhere, they're talking about, you know, reaching the next X billion users or advancing certain technologies in, in Global South, etc. Et but, you know, a lot of the time, I think that conversation is a bit premature because if you're if you go to some parts of the world where you know the well democracy doesn't exist um, fresh water is a problem um, having you know electricity stable electricity is much more important than you know getting an internet connection so I think you know, we need to take a be a bit take a more kind of mature and a cohesive approach to some of these things rather than kind of going, oh, everybody needs to get online. It might be more along the lines of, well, everybody needs basic infrastructure. So to, to your question about updating things to include digital rights, I'd say, well, probably not, no. Because I've seen in some, in some jurisdictions they've tried to make, you know, internet access a, a right. And that adds a layer of complexity that probably isn't really needed. And it's, whereas if you were to actually say, okay, uh, access to clean water, access to these kind of things that you need to actually live, we're going to actually do that rather than simply saying we support this concept, that would probably be a better outcome.